They did it my second year there. My second year in Washington, they did it, and I thought it was awesome. And then uh, hadn't had it since until this year. And I think uh, I think it's good. And uh, you know, I, I think as long as you have the right mindset and the right approach, conditioning-wise, I think you're going to get a lot more out of that than you, than you will other things as well. So I think it's good for everybody. Can I ask you one other thing while I got here? In 2016, you think a guy could fight his way onto an NHL roster? I, like, I mean, impress management by showing your toughness. You know what I mean? I I think uh, you know it's it's slowly losing its its uh, its place in hockey. I think you know to be successful in that aspect, you have to be you know I kind of call it a hybrid. You have to be able to play and be able to do that. Where you know the day of the heavyweight is kind of long gone. So. Uh, you know, if you're a middleweight, you can kind of play the game too. Uh, I think that holds a lot more ground. Um, you know, and I think it's less about going out there and, and you know beating somebody up. It's it's more or less standing up for your teammates. And, and I think management and everybody involved in the sport kind of understand who can do it and who's willing to do it. And, um, you know, where you don't have to come into camp and fight you know five six times and like you said fight your way on a roster. Uh, where I think you know everybody involved in in, in this situation has seen you and, and seen how you play and uh, kind of understands that you can bring that element when needed. Makes sense. Thanks.